Hi guys, I hope you're all well. This is my second video in my vegan series. So if you didn't watch my last one, I just basically spoke about why I decided to try veganism and kind of how my first week had been. So I'll link that below. And in this video, I thought that I would just share five tips for starting a vegan diet. Now I will say as a disclaimer, I wouldn't class myself as like a fully fledged vegan and I'm not at all saying that I'm an expert or anything. These are just five things that me as a complete novice like i started with not a clue i just watched a documentary that kind of spurred me on to trying it and yeah these are just five things that i found made the transition quite easy the first thing is to find inspiration and kind of join the vegan community so in this day and age we have access to so many different resources you know it's not just a case of going to the library anymore and finding a book on veganism you've got instagram you've got facebook you've got twitter you've got youtube and blogs and podcasts and all of that you can find some really good material and inspiration so for me I found Instagram was my like go-to. So I followed accounts like Veganuary, Veganuary, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's basically like Movember and dry January or whatever it is. But yeah, it's where you try being vegan for the month of January. Obviously the aim is that you really feel the benefits throughout that month and then you carry it on as a long-term thing. But yeah, it's a challenge to get motivated. I started following them and I signed up to their website, which is free. You can donate if you want, and I did, um, but you can just do it for free. And they have so many resources on their website, like different recipe ideas and meal ideas, which is actually another one of my points, so I won't get into details there. It's just a bit of motivation and you kind of feel like you're a community and there's other people doing it and it just spurs you on. I also follow Accidentally Vegan, which is a really good Instagram page, and it just shows all different products that aren't intended to be vegan but they are. Space Raiders, Bugles, um, Tesco Cajun Sweet Potato Slices, just like loads of different like party foods and drinks, Morrison's Garlic Bread, loads of things like that so it's quite like it's just a bit of a fun one. And then there's loads of different Instagrammers like Naomi Smart. I also started following a few YouTubers as well, especially ones that want to gain weight because that's something that I want to do as well. And then I follow different local restaurants so if you're from the kind of Southampton area, there's Cafe Thrive, there's a home food delivery service called All Plants. They're based in London but they deliver all over the UK and they deliver like pre-made vegan ready meals and there's one that I really want to try called Mac and Cashew or Cashew and Mac, it's basically Mac and Cheese but my mouth's watering just thinking about it. Mac and cheese, but the cheese is made from cashew nuts, but I'll link everyone below. Okay, number two is to clear your cupboards. So get rid of any meat, any dairy, any eggs, anything that isn't vegan. Obviously this is difficult if you have family members that aren't trying to be vegan. For me, obviously it's just me and the two boys here and I'm not putting a vegan diet on them at all. If they wanted to eat meat or cheese or eggs or anything, then I would cook it for them because I just think that's their choice. But luckily for me, they're more than happy to eat anything that I eat. But yeah, that's not really something that I have to worry about. But yeah, if you do have people in your home that aren't vegan, then maybe just have your own cupboard or your own side of the fridge, your own part of the freezer, just for your bits so that everything's nice and clear. I mean, for me, it's not been difficult. It's not that I'm thinking like, oh, I really want to eat meat, but I just can't. I don't want to. So I haven't really had that temptation. Although I think if I had a fridge full of like really good cheeses, I might be a bit tempted. <laughs> okay, number three is to do a big shop. Make sure that you've got all of the ingredients that you need for breakfasts, lunches, dinners, snacks, everything. Because what you don't want is to wake up in the morning, go to have breakfast and realize that, oh, actually you've only got your dairy butter or you've only got the ingredients to make pancakes with eggs and milk. And then you end up eating dairy and egg or not eating at all. And obviously neither of those are great. So for me, what I did is I went on the Veganuary website. But they had a whole kind of starter shopping list. This is absolutely free. I'm not working with them either, by the way. But yeah, you can just go on there and there are so many great resources. And it literally told you everything that you need to get started. So all of the fruits and vegetables and condiments and dairy alternatives, so the different kind of milks, the different spreads, different kind of meat alternatives, so like tofu and falafel and stuff like that. And I literally got pretty much everything on there. It cost me about 80 pounds, but that's like a weekly food shop plus all of your staples, like things like soy sauce and like herbs and spices and just all stuff that you know is gonna last you for quite a long time. And it just means that I'm like halfway there now and every week I just need to go and get more fresh ingredients. Okay, number four, and this is linked to the whole food shop and everything, is to meal plan. Meal planning I think is great whether you're vegan, vegetarian, or you eat absolutely everything because it saves money, it saves time, it's stress-free. 
and it gives you a chance to get a bit creative. So again, I use the Veganuary website for this. If I am pronouncing this wrong, <laughs> and you know, you're probably watching this like, you're saying it wrong. But yeah, they have another section on there for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, um, like party foods, and it's really, really good. That's where I found my favorite pancake recipe, blueberry and banana pancakes, and they are amazing. You can look at different cookbooks. I've got the Naomi Smart one, which I've actually had for ages. Um, and then I've got another one that's like quick and simple easy vegan meal ideas. You can look on Instagram because there are so many great recipes on there. Look for people's vegan what I eat in a day YouTube videos and blog posts. There are so many places but, but yeah for me I plan out my dinners um, so I make sure that I've got the right ingredients for at least five dinners of the week and then you know maybe one evening we'll just have like a vegan cheese on toast or something like that. And yeah I make sure that I've always got enough to make pancakes that I like, enough to do like avocado and almond butter on toast, oats to do porridge, just stuff like that. Yeah I just feel nice and prepared for the week and I know that I'm not going to suddenly look in the cupboards and think oh I haven't got anything and then just end up going to the quick local shop which doesn't always have very good vegan alternatives to things and that's when you could potentially cave. Okay my last one, number five, is to find local restaurants, cafes, takeaways, anything like that that make nice vegan food. It doesn't have to necessarily be a vegan restaurant. I'm quite limited where I am, although I'm pleasantly surprised because I've been getting tagged in a lot more like there's a vegan cafe, there's a vegan restaurant, like a few different ones around my local area. I know that my local petrol station, for example, apart from vegetables, doesn't really sell anything vegan, whereas my local co-op has really great options. But I know that at my gym, I've got maybe three or four different options. There's like a vegan butternut squash curry and like a pita with hummus and roasted veg and my local pub I've got one option so it's just kind of knowing where you can eat and then if you do plan to eat out with friends or family or whatever kind of know where you're gonna have a good meal so that's it those are my five tips for starting a vegan diet basically just be prepared and get inspiration and it'll just make it more enjoyable because a lot of people say you know what can you have, just vegetables? And that's not the case at all. There is so much you can have. There are so many amazing looking and tasting meals that are really good for you and give you just as much nutrition as you would get from meat and dairy and eggs. But you've just got to put a little bit of work in in the beginning to get there. That's it, I hope you liked this video. Please do give it a big fat thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below and let me know any tips that you've got as well because obviously I'm only like a week into this and I'm sure there are a lot of you watching that are thinking about doing it or you've been doing it for much longer. So yeah, it'd be nice just to kind of have a bit of a thread going in the comments and kind of help each other out a little bit. Thanks for watching, bye.